Hayes. Hey means hello in Sweden. And today I have with me a brand, an iconic brand from Sweden. When this brand entered India in 2018 with their first store in Hyderabad, the talking points was the traffic jam around the area, how long it would get, how long you would have to wait just to get into the store. This was the reception that IKEA got, uh, got in India. And I'm glad to have today with me Anna Olin. She's the country marketing manager at IKEA India. And Jayendran Gupta, he's the country integrated media manager at IKEA India. Welcome, Anna and Jet. Thank you so much, Simran. Thanks. Thanks, Simran. Uh, uh, I just first want to start off with your new campaign, Make Room for All Things Festive. Anna, when we had met, you had told me you found a really uh, a, a really good insight. So tell, can you just tell me what was the insight mm -hmm. that you mined just in time for the festive season? I think the most important part, Simran, is that every campaign we do uh, is based on insights. We are extremely insights-based company. So I think if we don't have an insight, there's no reason to make any communication at all. Is But for this year, the launch, uh, the launch that we're having right now is for festive. And what we realized is that People make grand plans for festive. It's something that you look forward to. I mean, it's the best season of the year. And people, you know, sit together and they write little lists and they plan to do this, they plan to do that. And then in the end, after all the planning, which is sometimes maybe the fun part of it, nothing turns out to be as planned. But that is perfectly fine because... With IKEA, you are so ready for any eventualities, so it doesn't matter. If that little quiet corner that you planned to have a little chat with somebody turns into be a musical chair event, fine. IKEA makes you so ready for anything that happens for the festive and create those great memories that you really, really want with people. So I think that was the main insight. You plan and you plan, and then always something unexpected happens but you will be okay because ikea is there that's great unexpected things always do happen at the last minute uh now you know how are you planning to roll out the campaign i believe you have a series of 10 seconders so which platform are you looking to engage with the consumers J boy i can answer that simran uh so this is one of our key campaigns uh you know, that we roll out during festive. And uh, this will be amplified in a 360 degree way. Uh, basically, we will touch, uh, connect with consumers or potential consumers at every possible touch points. So, but in a nutshell, this campaign is a storytelling campaign. So we will be using a lot of audiovisual platforms such as TV, digital, OTT uh, to amplify this campaign. But at the same time, there would be some other elements such as out of home from long time, long term brand recall as well. So this this will be seen everywhere during the festive campaign. Uh, you mentioned TV. Are you looking at regional channels or are you looking at uh, Hindi GECs also? Because regional may probably be more makes more sense right you are absolutely right uh we primarily right now uh are advertising on regional tv uh there is some time left before we go national in terms of tv advertising but right now we go with the uh, regional tv uh what are you expecting out of this campaign if you can share some of your expectations because this is after all a call to action campaign so what are you anticipating? Plus, it's the festive season when consumers will pull out money from their wallet. So in terms of, uh, you know, the campaign expectation, of course, we want to have a positive movement uh, in terms of our brand KPIs. So uh, whether it is top of mind recall or spontaneous awareness, uh, ultimately, we want to establish IKEA as the one-stop destination for all things festive. Uh, that is our uh, one of the call call to action. Uh, in terms of uh, you know the business KPIs, of course, we want people to come visit us uh, for their festive shopping. 
uh, because there is abundance of choices uh, for decorating their festive uh, festivities. You know, IKEA is also uh, like, uh, you know, you uh, told us about your media mix, which is basically omni channels uh, marketing. So if you can tell us a little bit more about the strategy that you're rolling out, especially over omni channel marketing, how what are you doing on that front? So as you know, uh, we are an omni-channel retailer. Uh, we have uh, our stores, uh, which are our physical presence. We also have online presence and we also have an app. And also people can actually shop uh, remotely as well over right. the morning. Uh, but in terms, so basically when, our, when we go out with our communication, all these touch points are highlighted. Uh, as the part of the CTA uh, in terms of reaching out to the consumer. Like I said, uh, we map the consumer journey and uh, go out with the relevant communication, uh, which may be an adapt of this uh, communication to reach to them at the right point of time. Uh, that's our overall strategy. Now, Hyderabad, Mumbai, Bangalore, different states, different languages. Like we just spoke about, vernacular is really a key part of your communication strategy. But each city has its own flavor, you know, like Bombay is very different from Bangalore, Hyderabad, Delhi. Uh, what is the challenge in kind of fine-tuning the local tonality? By the way, I loved your campaign, which you rolled out when uh, uh, for Bangalore with the comedian. It was brilliant. <laughs> Uh, you're talking about Danish Sait, the launch campaign. It's Danish Sait. Yes, yeah. His name did not come into my mind at that time, but it was brilliant. It was it was actually a very, very successful campaign. But coming back to your original question, and I think it's a very, very important and pertinent question. Uh, like you uh, like you said, you know, every market has its own flavor in terms of language, in terms of consumption, in terms of spaces that they live in their houses. For example, Mumbai has smaller spaces, right, uh, right. compared to what you have in Hyderabad. Then there are markets, uh, you know, where certain media works better uh, compared to other. And then we also have a limitation in terms of, uh, you know, different languages in each of these main cities or markets that we have. So, uh, you know, when we devise our communication and the media strategy, while there is an overarching campaign, like in this case, it's make room for all things festive, uh, we do go out with the language adapts uh, wherever it is necessary. We also look at the uh, media landscape of the market as well. For example, uh, Hyderabad is more or less media isolatable market, right? Where TV works its uh, charm. So uh, we basically rely a lot on TV to give us that mass reach and frequency. And then we add the other elements of media to reach out to relevant consumers as well. While Mumbai, for instance, is much more uh, cosmopolitan, if I, yeah, cosmopolitan, if I may say that. Uh, here, uh, TV has its limitation, but we do go out on TV. But then we amplify much more on digital to reach out to relevant target audience and also on out of home, which is language uh, agnostic at some time. So we adapt and we are, and we go as per the market maturity and market landscape uh, when it comes to our uh, communication planning you mentioned your overall arching theme so uh, you know festival is also about people coming into the house so this campaign just is building on your bhar aao campaign right you're building on that that's right uh, now uh, you know when ikea started in india the brand awareness was really low uh, if I were to ask you, what is the top of the mind recall from the brand to, uh, for the brand today? I'm just talking about your the markets in which you operate, Bombay, Hyderabad and Bangalore. What would you say? Well, I can uh, tell you, uh, you know, uh, if we go beyond the numbers uh, within our home furnishing category, when it comes to top of mind recall, IKEA uh, enjoys the uh, topmost position. Uh, we are top of the bracket 
and uh, whether it is top of mind recall spontaneous awareness or even you know consideration as well ikea enjoys the category leading numbers in all these brand parameters uh, there is uh, you know there was something i was just looking i was thinking who would be a competitor for ikea in india and i couldn't think of many brands in that space on a national level maybe home center i couldn't think of that so you know when we look overall you probably it's a very unorganized market right so uh, how are you looking to what is first of all i want to know have you any idea like with ikea home center how much of this market is actually organized and what percentage of the market is unorganized second is uh, you are also going to be building this as a category right the home furnishing though it exists in india for its obviously it exists forever since forever but as an organized sector it's just been very recent since from maybe you know that's that's happened you are absolutely right uh, in in terms of the category the way we are reading uh, you know from our end there is an immense amount of fragmentation that is happening uh, in the category there are multiple niche player uh, you know that are coming up in the category they are catering to either one specific need or one set of target con consumer but the fragmentation is category in in the category is actually very very high and growing rapidly uh you are also right that there isn't like a real real surrogate uh in terms of the competition that we can compare with ikea but uh you know we have very strong players such as urban ladder pepper fry uh Correct. center hometown live space and even the marketplaces such as amazon and flipkart they have uh, they are also firmly established coming back to uh the point of india being largely unorganized and that is also true what we understand from our inside team that on an average uh, roughly 65 to 75% of home furnishing market in india is actually informal or unorganized uh, but the organized part is growing that is also true what i meant is just seeing the range of products offered right so a pepper fry doesn't have this range a lift space doesn't have this range probably only a home center i could probably come closest what i could think of right that's what i meant now uh, just uh, moving on uh, ikea globally is known for its large format stores uh, three in india and uh, it's an experience going there but you also have a uh, you know your small format stores uh, in a mall in bombay so what are you looking uh, you know going forward what is your plans is it going to be uh, will you be entering other cities with the small format stores followed by the large format how is it going to play out and what I we know yeah i can do it i think what we know right now is of course that we're focusing a lot on on the expansion expansion is is i think india is one of the the fastest and strongest expansion markets in the ikea world right now so we know for sure that yes a lot of new cities a lot of new formats will pop up uh we don't share any details of course as as usual simran but what we can say is that the mix of the new formats the big experience store together with the city store together with a plan and order point that is what we would like to to achieve to have that this fits me right now option for the mini consumers that we are here for you when you need me for that specific reason that is why the mix of formats is so important so you will see all different formats in india too and uh look forward to it please yeah now i just want to also uh, ask you what's your e-commerce play like you mentioned uh, you know amazon you mentioned pepper fry pepper fry sorry and you mentioned lift space urban ladder mm -hmm. they are all primarily online pepper fry started online before it came uh, became offline so uh, what i do want to know what's your e-commerce play right are you mm -hmm. looking to uh, you know increase on that in uh, you know how like 
how many pin codes do you currently service and what is the pin code that you are looking to reach how many pin codes are you looking to reach to go on the expansion yeah yes uh, I think if we go back a little bit to the competition question that we talked about before, Simran, both online and offline competition, I just would like to emphasize that um, to build the category that we're in, everybody has has a role to play. So right. we, we, we always welcome competition and we feel that, you know, together in India, we can build this category. I think that's one main view that I would really like to convey. When it comes to um, online players, of course, India is an online market. I mean, it's online first, but we also think that in the category where we operate, touch and feel is quite important. It's it's a big right. place. So I think the combination that we have in our omnichannel strategy where you can actually choose. If you don't live close to a store, you can, of course, buy online. If you're close to a store, you can, you know, check on the web, go and check in the store and maybe eventually buy online in the end. Um, there's so many different uh, consumer journeys that we cater for. Um, I think what we have that is extremely unique for IKEA is this 365 days of change your mind guarantee, which makes it a lot easier to actually buy something online without having seen it either. So I think these kind of guarantees make people trust us a lot. Um, anything to add, Jay, on your side? No, I think you have covered it well. Uh, uh, online part of our business is growing. Uh, like Anna said, India is very online first or app first market. Uh, both our app and uh, website are growing in terms of significance and people coming to either download uh, our app or shop uh, through it or coming to our website and shop through it is actually growing. And on to your specific question in terms of, uh, you know, where all we are delivering or all pin codes that we are servicing. So we are not only servicing in the cities that we are uh, present in terms of the physical uh, format, but we are basically servicing entire state of Maharashtra, Karnataka, uh, Telangana, AP, and some cities in Gujarat also. So you, so as we expand in terms of our physical presence, online in parallel also growing at a rapid pace as well. So we are servicing more and more uh, customer with IKEA solutions and expertise. I'm just putting forward a hypothetical question uh, because as you were speaking, I had actually done an interview with a home furnishing brand. That's a e, uh, that's a digital first platform. They're into bed sheets uh, in this category. And what I was told, which really surprised me, was that uh, a lot of the, the the platform which was showing the highest growth for them was quick commerce. Mm -hmm. And that really surprised me because I thought like, you know, if you're looking at bed sheets and things, you do want to touch and feel how is the bed sheet and all that. And that really surprised me. So what I was given to understand is uh, while on quick commerce, your range is limited, the growth is fastest. So just wondering, can we also see IKEA as you expand on quick commerce or so on Blinkit or Swiggy Instamart or Zepto? Do you think you'll be available there? It's just a hypothetical question. I think, Simran, that would be a dream scenario. I think we would love to be on quick commerce. And I think uh, we're trying to find out what we need to, to do to be able to do it. Um, it will probably take a little bit of time, but uh, I think it's it's of a, a lot of interest for us to to be able to sell at least the, the main essentials of your of your home life that you could get from IKEA. I, I would say that India is probably the number one company country in the world for, for uh, quick commerce. So we have a lot to learn from you guys there. And we're studying the fastest we can. So hopefully Simran will be there in the, uh, I don't know how long it will take, but hopefully in the future, yes. Okay. Now for anybody visiting IKEA, 
we can spend probably the entire day over mm-hmm. there and what ikea is also famous for is the consumer experience now uh, as i told you before when i went first to uh, when your first store opened in hyderabad i visited that store within a week of launch and i was confused like you know where do i go what do i do why is this paper and pen being given to me mm-hmm. but it was an experience a learning experience and a really nice one so how what are you doing to elevate the consumer experience in your stores particularly anything unique that you found out about the customers in india especially when it comes to in store experience i think every new market that we enter same done it's it's all about getting used to our concept right you you explained to us how extremely confused you you felt at first after you know maybe when you come your third time to ikea you have created a routine you always go and look at the showroom first you have a little bit of a, a coffee in the restaurant you do this you do that so people in the in the more well in the older markets they they have their pure ikea routines that they always go for sure. and i think as we are still new in india uh, i think that people who knows us from abroad they have already created those routines people who are new to us they would need a few times to actually get used to the way of shopping but the good thing is that the immediate reaction every time you first time enter an ikea store is globally common it's that jaw dropping moment of what look such a big this. store it's so big there's so many products and look at all the solutions look at all the inspiration could i copy and paste this at home and that's where the indian part comes in because we need to be relevant in india right so you feel i could do this in my home and i think that is something we need to work maybe even harder on in india to create that wow this nook fits into my house um and i think we're getting better and better at that it's it's a long learning to to see you know all the home visits we do to find out how people live but that uh, that inspirational trigger that you get by by looking at real examples i think it's mind blowing i think it's only us basically in the world doing it so that's that's part of the expertise i think of of being around for 80 years uh you mentioned consumer any emerging trends that you can top off when it comes to consumers it's interesting to see because i think when it comes to to uh, trends uh people of course for the home it's it's easier to buy smaller things it's easier to get those decorational items um uh, doesn't cost that much it's an easy change but we do see that people are gradually with a with a growing interest in home furnishing also moving into the areas of buying bigger furniture and and moving into changing maybe not the whole home but corners of their home so there is definitely a shift of moving in from not only buying smaller things but also buying bigger things and doing bigger changes at home i would say the living room is still the main room in india so i think people put more effort and and more money into investing in the living room but we also see even if the the bedroom turn they get a bit smaller i think in new houses but they are also an important investment going forward people see now connected to the sleep theme of ikea this year there is a, a very strong interest in getting better sleep to wake up more energized and more productive for the next day so um, i think these are the main trends oh uh, anna you had mentioned uh, you know i had uh, i was listening to a speech that you gave and what i found interesting was that you said home furnishing in india the spends are actually quite less which was mm-hmm. a big surprise to me so are you seeing slowly by uh, slowly that you know that is also increasing how people are spending more in their homes at ikea are you seeing that trend happening because value for market mm-hmm. is really we are a very price sensitive market also very very much so i think if we see the home furnishing interest and the spend moving it's on a very very minuscule uh, growth trend you know it's not going to be an extremely fast moving business so i think we have to be careful uh, to talk about that increase i think because it's it's not 
super visible yet. Um, it's about value for money, definitely. And I think people are looking for those those products that can actually uh, durability and, and that they can have for a long time. And uh, I think what we can offer at IKEA is both the good design and the good price and the, the durability part with the democratic design that we have. So hopefully, hopefully people will more and more understand that what they are spending, they get a lot for it. Uh, and I think that's the mindset we need to have. And also, I think one of the mindsets that we would like to also influence is that it doesn't require a lot to make a big change in the home. And that's something I think it's more of a, a mind shift change in India too. You don't need to do up your whole home. Doing it little by little and, you know, without spending too much would also be a way to do it. And it's, it's you know, come to IKEA, talk to our interior designer and the planners and, and get the good ideas that you need. So it doesn't have to become such a, a big thing, but you can do it step by step, baby steps, a la IKEA. Basically, uh, it's a, a home is a WIP project, right? Always. Always, always yeah. WIP. And I think that is one thing actually, Simran, that we maybe have noticed that people don't change their homes as often as we do uh, in in the in the the European countries where we have this home furnishing culture and history for you know so so many years. Um, a lot of people are quite happy here with status quo, and uh, I think we would like to change that a little bit. A little change can make you feel so good. Uh, you mentioned that India is probably the most important market when it comes to you for expansion. But looking at the yeah. overall scheme of things, how important is India as a market overall looking at it? I think that from an IKEA point of view, India is in everybody's mind right now. The attention that we uh, get right now and the focus we have to make India a great success has never been bigger. So it's it's really, really good times for us. Uh, now, I believe that uh, looking ahead, your uh, the priority areas are sleep solutions and plans, right? And uh, so can you just talk about that, the focus looking ahead on uh, sleep solutions? Yeah, we talk a lot about sleep being extremely important. I just mentioned it uh, a little while ago because sleep is, is the basic platform for, a, for, for having a, a good life, we think. And... While a lot of competition in many countries talk about a very technical approach to sleep, we uh, we want to share more of a of a kind of a three sixty approach to sleep. Of course, comfort and quality of of what you sleep on is super important. But it's not only about the mattress and the cushion and then the quilt that you prefer. It's also about having a tidy room, having it decluttered, having the right. A curtain solution that you shut out the light, having the air in the room, having the sound absorbent uh, materials in your room. So we have the six dimensions of sleep that, that we are sharing. And as IKEA is always about all under one roof, you can come and buy your mattress and your bed solution, but you can also get the other dimensions of sleep that will make it the perfect sleep solution. And that's what we're promoting this year a lot in our communication. Uh, finally, other than sleep, uh, you know, your the focus on sleep uh, solutions, what can we expect in from IKEA? Where are you going next? Well, sleep, sleep, sleep. It's definitely going to be super important for the rest of the year. We will talk a lot about sleep, but of course now it's festive, Simla. We need to talk festive. Even if I think that sleeping is very important in the festive season too, because you have so much to do. It's all about prepping, cleaning, planning, getting the house ready for, for, for the festive season. And IKEA can be there in every step. That's the good part. But I think that you know, now it's time to celebrate. Let's be together. Let's socialize and, and fully utilize this season. And then we can talk more about sleep again. There will be, uh, you know, other topics to talk about further on. But I think we should connect again.
Yes. Thank you so much for your time. It was I had a lovely time talking to both of you. Thank you it's so much. Always like to talk time. to you, Simran. Thank you so much. Thank you, Simran. Thank you. Thank you.